So at this point, I'm going to sign in with my Amazon account. Hopefully I can remember my password. Actually, it looks like my browser has done it for me. Um, it's asking me for my one-time code. Okay. So now that we're logged in, let's have a look at the, f the super simple way of creating a kid's account or a kid's profile. I'm going to simply go down to manage profiles here. And here I can add a new profile. I'm going to click on the button. It shows a list of other profiles that are actually available in my Amazon profile. I'm not going to worry about those for now. I'm just going to simply create a new one. Here I'll call it child and we'll enable the button that says kids profile. And that's where TV shows and movies for ages 12 and under will be available. And that's basically not editable once we create this account. So if you want to change the content restrictions or anything later, simply just create another profile or delete this uh, profile and, and create it again. Let's go and save those changes though. Uh, I've previously created one that's got child in it, so I'm just going to simply create child three or something like that. We'll go ahead and save that now. And there we go, it's created the child three account. When we click on that, you should see that all of the content is age appropriate. Lots of cartoons, Humpty Dumpty, Barbie and Peppa Pig. So from that perspective, we've created a kid's profile. That's great. You will, however, see that as I'm logged in as child three, I can effectively just go and choose an adult account here. And they've got full access to that and can see all the content and start accessing things they shouldn't. So let's have a look now at how we can configure the account settings to pin prompt for profile changes and the like. I'm logged in as the primary account owner for Amazon Prime. I'm going to go to account and settings and it's here where we, where we can configure the restrictions. So there is a Prime Video account pin and this pin bypasses purchasing and viewing restrictions in any profile on this account. And it also overrides all profile lock pins. So this is kind of the master pin, for example. And I've already set that. Uh, you can, and this is where you would set it for your account. By default, purchase restrictions are off. So that means that um, if you go and buy a Prime Video for any account, for any profile in this account, uh, they won't be prompted for a pin. I would like to enable that. So if my son or daughter tries to buy something in Amazon Prime, they are prompted for the pin that only I know. So happy by turning that on. And also from a viewing restrictions perspective, let's have a look at this. Viewing restrictions apply across all profiles on the devices selected below. Restrictions for Fire devices in Xbox must be set on the device. So individually, we still need to go and set restrictions specifically for Fire devices and Xboxes. Do have a look at our Fire TV uh, walkthrough as well. Um, and you'll note here at the moment, all videos can be watched without a pin. So what I want to do is I want to set age restrictions for whatever the profile is, because these can't be set on a per profile basis. I'm going to set PG and any content for any profile on this account that is M, M, A or R will have to type in the pin in order to view it. So that's fine. At least I'm protecting any of these profiles from watching nefarious things, watching content that may not be suitable. And you can even apply the viewing restrictions to all supported devices or just select devices. So for example, I might have a device that is specifically for my daughter or son's iPad or whatever it is that they've got. So you could just apply the viewing restrictions to that or indeed apply to all supported devices because if they figure out how to log in from another device, then of course the viewing restrictions would not apply to them if we're selectively applying the viewing restriction. So my recommendation is all supported devices change the viewing restrictions here and it just means as adults in our adult profile we'll simply have to type the pin when watching M, M, A or R shows. Happy with that as a restriction for now. Let's go and click save. Finally let's go back and have a look at the profiles and how we can block the creation of new profiles. It's actually hidden away somewhere different. Let's go to my account, manage profiles. I need to edit the profile of the main account which is this one here on the left. And under here I'm going to manage the account pin and locks. I'm going to click the manage button there. I need to enter the account pin. 
first. And here I want to do the, both these things, which is one, enable the profile lock, which means my children will not be able to get access to this profile uh, and watch content they shouldn't. And secondly, I also want to enable the creation and removal of profiles lock. So we tick that, which means that the pin will be required to create and remove profiles. So that is perfect. Happy with that setting, click save. And that's it. So we would need to make sure that this lock is on all adult accounts uh, in or all adult profiles in my Amazon Prime account. And that's it as far as parental controls are concerned. I hope that's been helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.